It's not every day that Amir Khan comes to call. But then again, it's not every day you also have Ryan Giggs, Ricky Hatton, Jamie Moore and a whole host of other sporting celebrities in your back garden. They're all here to visit Chris McGurk, who at the age of 21 suffered an injury playing rugby for De La Salle, an injury which left him mostly paralysed from the neck down. The Chris McGurk Challenge was launched and raised £200,000 to build a specially designed house so he can live as independent and normal a life as possible. He's a very brave lad, you know, and the, the house is an absolute credit to everybody that has got involved in order to, in order to do it. I think it's brilliant, you know, to have something like this here. Um, and Chris is a nice lad, you know, um, I think he deserves it. Well, it just shows that, you know, people, when they put their minds together and they put their, um, put their will and their determination into, into a project like this, that, that it can happen. And, um, you know, it's all credit to... Um, everyone who's been involved. I think it's fantastic, and it you know just shows um, what the people of Salford are about. You know they've all um, jumped together and, and uh, to help Chris out when he was uh, when he needed everyone's help, and um, the job they've done is fantastic. You know it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Chris himself is delighted with the progress on the house and can't wait to move in. I couldn't imagine it when we were first in and we was with, with the foundations and everything, and then I've come in out and you just you can't believe it, can you? The, the, the size of it. I didn't realise how big it was actually going to be on, on the size of land that we had, and they've just done a marvellous job, unbelievable. It was just six months ago that we visited the site when the foundations had been laid. Back then there was a lift shaft, today the lift is in place and the whole house is nearing completion, meaning that Chris should be able to move in within the next couple of months. Ben Bland, Channel M News.